covenant living is a life that is under restriction restricted by the word of god restricted by the instructions that the holy ghost gives you are you in this place so you know you have to pray it's an instruction given to you and some of you you know okay that prayer times that you have to keep god comes he gives you instruction concerning your finances concerning your academics there are some of you that you see your your assignment is tied to your education so when it comes he will give you instructions in those areas and it might not look spiritual but that is your area of covenant covenantal living the bible gives us a great statistic you don't need to go far the bible now produces for us a very important data if you want to now check to find out what was the lifestyle of those that became great with God because I know that all of us are serving the Lord in good faith in hope are you here yes there's a hope there's faith that we have that our serving the Lord and following Jesus will produce a certain outcome because we have seen it with people we've seen God work with individuals and then we've seen the possibilities that came out of their lives because they they work with God they work with the God of Abraham the God of Isaac the God of Jacob they work with the God that Jesus revealed to us the God that's Paul the God we learn of from the pages of the scriptures but for us to now experience the, those outcomes that we desire, we have to now go back to the statistics that have been provided for us so that you can check. It, it will shock you. From the time that God began to anoint men as kings in Israel, do you know that we've had about two or three? I don't know if I should make it three. It depends. There were two or three kings that did not fail in their session that they served God from the time they, they were installed as kings to the time they died and they died at a good old age are we here not Kinesa, Kinesa died because he went against God, 2nd Chronicles chapter 16, Kinesa is out he died, there was a, a saw in his feet and the Bible said that in the, in the midst of that situation he still not, did not turn to God because Kinesa is one of the people that God really prospered and gave him a strange kind of victory. The statistics is very alarming. Because there were many kings. Go and read Kings, Chronicles, First and Second Samuel. You will learn a lot. Because these are men that were supposed to work with God. So you, you can learn so much from them. And how they feel. Jeroboam was anointed king in chapter 12 of Chronicles. He departed from God in the same chapter 12, 13. By the beginning of 13, verse 1, he had already departed from God. So, he, the same chapter he was anointed king is the same chapter he departed from God. I mean, there were no stories that they could even tell about him. Allow me statistics. And so, you look at it and you find out, let's tra- trace who were the men that God, God preferred. What was their attitude? Are you in this place? And then we begin to now pattern our lives after their attitude, after their lives. When God found David, he said, I have found a man afterward, my heart. What was the common thing? Sacrificial living. Covenantal living. These were men who were not concerned about themselves. Are you in this place? You see, <laughs> you, you can't become it by yourself. And even if you become it by yourself, understand that you can't defend yourself. And that becomes even more dangerous. You get it? I, I, have, I have dealt with many issues. There are people that we pray for them. When they are healed, then they would die. They were sick. You pray for them. Then they would die through something else. Yes, it's because the demons said that don't go. Be sick. Don't go. Then you now 
came and then we cast the demon and then you were healed but you, you don't have what it takes to provide cover i've seen people that they marry to die because they don't have what it takes to provide cover how are you going to be able to bring about that covering covenantal living there's a life that you lived that god now makes a vow concerning you and that is what we see from the pages of the bible men who are able to live a certain kind of life that god now looks at the man and then he now makes a pledge he makes a promise concerning those men, those men and says that because of this thing because of the way that you have lived i swear allegiance to you and to your lineage to your descendants do you know why solomon succeeded as a king solomon succeeding as a king and staying in power for a long time was not because of what he could do it was because of david it says but king solomon loved many strange women there were policies in the covenant in the covenant they had been instructed to stay away from those women those were the provisions of the covenant demands actually demands of the covenant that when you enter into the promised land these were instructions that god gave them before he gave to israel i mean so whatever is said in the bible is for us you get it this instruction was not given in the time of solomon it was given centuries before his arrival israel they were coming out of egypt and god instructed them whilst they were attempting to possess the promised land and then he said that when you enter the land destroy everything and everyone don't keep them and if ever you leave them don't intermarry with them don't mingle with them because the moment you mingle with them he said they will they will surely turn your hearts away in covenantal living we deny ourselves that's what brought us here because solomon didn't deny himself when he was supposed to in covenantal living we deny ourselves we deny even our appetites And it is men of covenant. They are the ones that are able to now build heritages in the spirit. And they can leave heritage, inheritance for their children. So when the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land, whether thou goest to possess it. Before God is taking them to possess the land, he's already giving them instruction. Are you in this place? No, but that's why God will train you. He will build you. Huh. Before you enter into that land, you think in your family there's no wealth in the family. There's what? It's a land. There are good things in the land. But there are laws that govern those, govern those lands, and there are principles that those who will be able to enter into those lands will have to live by. If you don't live by those principles, you cannot enter. You would journey like one of those men or those women that came ahead, that went ahead, that tried severally but couldn't enter. For me, I want to enter into my inheritance. The Bible said that Solomon loved many strange women. He had departed from covenantal living. In the covenant, they were told that depart from these people. There are things that covenant demands from us. You are not like any ordinary person. You are not like an unbeliever. You can't do anything you want. You can't go anywhere you want. Are you in this place? If you do that, you talk about God. You worship God, but you may not have God's result. I'm showing you. Look at Asa. Asa now followed God. And then a decision to rely on someone other than God. And God was so displeased. Say, I do not live for myself. It covers everything. Your marriage is not for you to do with it the way you want you get it even your education your work whatever we do it is not for you to do with it the way you want you do it according to the instruction that god has given concerning it and with a kinship and with israel god came and said that don't go into the gentiles to marry and let them not come into you to marry 
But I will say that Solomon loved many strange women together with the daughter of Pharaoh, women of the Moabite, Ammonite, Edomite, Zidonite, and Hittites. Of the nations concerning which the Lord said unto the children of Israel, Ye shall not go into them, neither shall they come in unto you, for they shall surely turn away your heart after their God. Solomon claved unto this in love. So I do not live the way I want. I live for Jesus. In covenantal living, God can come and demand anything from you. This, this is what I want you to have in mind because I said, for us to understand, if we, for us to know if we are going to really do well, we have to go back and check the scriptures. How did Abraham live? The moment Adam chose not to live in covenant, what happened? There was crisis. How did the crisis, what we call the fall of the human race, how did it come? It came because Adam moved out of covenant living. The covenant demanded that don't eat this. Are you in this place? We thank God that Jesus has come. There are restorations. There are things that can happen. But I tell you that God still demands us to live what covenantal lives. That is, that is how men can rise to veto the decrees of ancestral powers in families. That is how men can rise to veto the, the decrees, the constitutions of demonic places in territories. Without covenantal living, you can't because you see, the Bible said that any one, whatever you yield yourself to obey, a servant of that thing you become. You want to defeat the territorial power in Cape Coast. Meanwhile, he has conquered you with girls. It will be difficult. We are not looking at the issue of forgiveness. Are you in this place? We are looking at wielding the scepter of authority. We are looking at enforcing the order of God. You are looking forward to, to break the yoke of poverty in the family. But there's no covenant around your finances. There's no covenant. Your financial life has no covenant. You, you, any, have no, you don't even, even simple tithes. You are not regular. Oh God, you are a joker. It can't happen. This thing is not salvation. And all of those things come freely. But in God, promotion is tied to covenant. Exaltation and lifting is tied to covenant sacrifices. Are you in this place? So we are not talking about the issue of your salvation. We are not looking at the issue of, of, of forgiveness. No. We are talking about wielding scepters, ascending thrones. Those are for covenant men. So the one who will be able to wield the scepter and wear the garments of wealth, sit and rule in the family, who have to surely live by covenant. Because the one that is sitting in, the, in darkness to control that system to ensure that nobody rises is a strictly covenantal person. They are obeying every law so that men will not rise. They are making every sacrifice that they are supposed to make so that men will not rise. And when you show up anything, you just want to shout the name of Jesus. Listen, when you look into your family, you have to be alarmed. You check certain areas and you find out that in this area, nobody is able to ascend. Are you in this place? You were telling me about your family. Anybody who wants to become great, what happens? He dies. Yeah. And one of the latest one, your uncle that died, who was becoming great, he was even a, a prophet. I followed a great man of God. That's what used to happen in his family. And he said, his brother, his brother was a prophet. He died. He himself is a prophet. Before, these are, you know, at least not... This are, I'm talking about national figures. Who, who, a prophet that is a national figure but died at 37. Not 37 military hospital. 37 years of age. He died. You think you cannot die? If you will not die, you will live a covenant life. You get it? Let me, you know how the enemy wants to kill me? He's always already looking for me to kill. The moment that you begin to open access 
because some of us they know they know how terrible you can be and they know that if if they leave you now you can find your way you don't get it so it is by elimination the only way that i will stay alive covenantal living people rise in the family they die you want to be rich you die you want to be god want to lift you as a man of god you die i told you last friday i'm the successful person in terms of ministry in the whole lineage if 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 what we are doing here is the most i have some of my uncles had one of them he, he, he could he had all everything that was required those they wanted you to do me you were not around as a chance and they know 